Forming a human chain, anti-government protesters lock arms, blocking the road in front of the Knesset, Israel's parliament. Their demonstration carrying over from those that took place the previous night, when thousands marched from the residence of Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to the Knesset. My future is dependent on this government, and the government is not doing its job. For nearly two weeks now, Israelis have been taking to the streets, often clashing with police. Their anger stemming, in part, from Netanyahu's handling of the coronavirus pandemic. And we are here uh, to say, first, for our prime minister, it's more than enough. We just want to sit in peace and have a change. Initially, Israel was quick to react to the pandemic, closing borders and implementing a two-month lockdown. When it began easing restrictions early May, the country was only reporting some 40 new cases per day. But since reopening, infections have surged to nearly 2,000 per day. In response, authorities have reimposed certain restrictions and guidelines that many have called confusing and contradictory. Protesters have additionally accused the government of not providing enough assistance to self-employed workers or those who have lost their jobs, as unemployment has soared to 20 percent. Rallies are also being fueled by the resumption of Netanyahu's corruption trial. The Israeli premier, who was re-elected to a fifth term in April, has been charged with bribery, fraud and breach of trust, charges he denies.